Hi, I'm Lee from the iPod Clinic. We are repair specialists for iPods, iPhones and other gadgets. And I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks for your iPods and iPhones. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your iPod Touch to a wireless internet connection. Firstly, go to the Settings app. Then you'll find the Wi-Fi menu option. It says not connected at the moment because we're not connected to a wireless network. So if you tap on that, it will refresh and list all the available wireless networks that it can find. Um, you can switch Wi-Fi off to save battery and switch it back on again. Once you see a network that you want to connect to, you can just tap on the network and if it has security, it will ask you for the password. If not, it will attempt to, to connect straight away. Um, so I'll tap in the password. And then if you just press join, it will attempt to join the network. If it joins successfully, then there will be a tick next to the network, which tells you that it, everything's connected OK and you've got the password correctly. So now if we go back to the main screen, go to Safari, we should be able to access the internet. There we go. So you can tell when you're connected to Wi-Fi because you'll have uh, two or three wireless signal bars at the top of the iPod. Uh, I can demonstrate this by disconnecting and reconnecting. So if I, at the moment it's on, so we've got the bars at the top there. And if I switch that to off, the bars will disappear up in the top left. If I switch it back on again, it will automatically connect to any, any networks that it remembers that it is around and the bars will come back on again. So that's how to connect your iPod Touch to Wi-Fi. That's the only way to connect an iPod Touch to the internet. Obviously with the iPhones you will be able to connect via the 3G mobile network as well.